he says it like give your burdens to me and here we are sometimes we just decide probably more than sometimes not to give our burdens to jesus and just to carry them ourselves and then what happens is that we end up burning out we end up um, feeling helpless or frustrated or as yesterday in my case impatient <laughs> driving home from work I wanted to take a moment to just uh, talk a little bit about 1 Corinthians 13 and I want to talk about it because it really has had an effect on me this week and this morning I that's that was my quiet time 1 Corinthians 13 all about what love is and what love is not I, I wanted to focus on two particular parts of love and which I completely related to, to actually yesterday and today, but particularly yesterday. Love is patient and love is kind. And love is patient and love is kind. Well, ladies and the gentlemen that hear me out, <laughs> I have to admit that yesterday I did not practice a lot of patience and certainly some of my words were not very kind. I had um, a situation in which I got pretty impatient and it wasn't necessarily directly towards my husband. It was at a situation, but I lashed out at my husband. And that is um, where I made a big mistake because when you are going through a difficult time or when you have a situation that you're not sure how to address or you are maybe getting impatient or frustrated at something but sometimes uh, certain responsibilities can be burdensome and by that i mean you know you really care about the ministry you care about people you care about the kingdom of god you care about your brothers and sisters you certainly care about your family uh, and sometimes some things can just become a little heavy and I didn't realize that there were you know there were situations in which uh, were getting a little heavy for me and uh, I didn't realize at the moment the problem was that number one I wasn't really giving it to Jesus uh, <laughs> that's probably the main problem you know I think about that scripture that Jesus literally tells us I will carry your burdens give your burdens to me like I, I, he says it like give your burdens to me and here we are sometimes we just decide probably more than sometimes not to give our burdens to jesus and just to carry them ourselves and then what happens is that we end up burning out we end up um, feeling helpless or frustrated or as yesterday in my case impatient and so I can see that now. I can see what happened. But unfortunately, I took it out on one of the people that I love the most in my life, which is my husband. And for absolutely no, um, there was no reason to do so. He did nothing wrong. But I, I did um, lash out, I guess. Um, and I didn't yell or anything like that. Or, you know, I don't, I'm not one to really yell or, or, or get like angry like that. <laughs> but um, I did, I did show my impatience, my impatience, and um, it just made it seem like he was the one I was upset at. In reality, I really wasn't. It was something else. But lesson is this: you know, love calls us. God calls us to be patient. God calls us to be kind. And he doesn't say, oh, you have to have a perfect situation and then be patient and kind. It's easy to be patient and kind when things are easier, when you're not being challenged, when ministry is going well, um, when you're, you know, when people around you are doing fine, when there are no health issues, when they're like, it's easy to be patient. That is not what, that's not why God uh, wrote this, you know, God tells us this in the Bible. That's not why this was written, right? Um, you know, this was written to remind us in the tough times to be patient and to be kind. Patience, and I, I don't know, you know, why um, the writer chose to do this in this order, but I think for me it applied in perfect order because patient comes first before kindness. Like, 
you're probably not gonna be very kind if you're not patient. <laughs> it might not happen. Uh, so patience is really important. You know, having patience requires perseverance. Sometimes situations will not be fixed immediately. Sometimes they will last for a long time, um, whether it's in your own household, with your relationships, or you know, in just other situations that you care about, other people, family members. These are, th these are things that you gotta be patient with. They're not always gonna be resolved right away. And, but for me at the moment, I just, I, I ran out of patience. And I had to go to God and I did. I went to God and I, I prayed and I apologized. I, I apologized to God, number one. First and foremost, because that's the first being you have to apologize to when you sin, you know, whether consciously or subconsciously um, you sin. I sinned and I apologize. Now, I remember in the Lord's Prayer, I keep reflecting every week on that because in the Lord's Prayer, we have to remember we must confess and we must ask God for forgiveness. And I did, I had to ask for God for forgiveness because I knew I was wrong. And I hurt somebody that I love because of my own impatience, my own um, even fears. Cause you know, really what I was, uh, what I was feeling had to do with uh, fears, you know, and Again, we can reference, you know, that there is no fear in love. Perfect love drives out fear. So certainly there was no good there when I was um, impatient. There was definitely fear there. And I, I apologized to God. And then later I apologized to my husband and I spoke to him and, you know, he was so gracious and forgave me immediately. Uh, you know, I it really just made me even more like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, when someone's so nice to you and they're just like, so like forgiving and you just you just know like you don't deserve that forgiveness well he was just so forgiving um and i'm so grateful for him and i'm grateful for god i am because i do believe that the spirit works in our marriage you know our marriage it goes well because we put jesus first because we remember the scriptures you know i remembered um in humility consider other better than yourself that's another scripture that came to my mind as i was battling in my thoughts after what I said and, and how I lashed out. Um, you know, I, I've thought about the scripture in humility, consider other, others better than yourselves. And I was like, am I being humble? Am I really seeing my sin? Am I seeing, you know, what I did wrong? Am I doing something wrong? At the moment, it didn't feel that way. It felt like I was right. It felt like I had good reasons um, to do, to say what I did. And it, it was not the case. It was not the case at all. So I want to challenge you, you know, when you come, whether you're going through it now or when you come across a situation, I want to challenge you to do the same. First of all, practical number one that helped me to just repent pretty quickly is having scriptures in your heart, having scriptures in your mind. Always. It's very important to have scriptures written on your heart. So, so important because then they disciple you. They, they rebuke you. They correct you. You know, the Bible says the Bible's there. The word of God corrects you. And I was corrected by the scriptures, right? Um, secondly, always ask God for forgiveness. And third, always ask the person for forgiveness. Uh, and, and talk about it too, you know, when, when sometimes when you can't work it through, sometimes you just need a friend to talk to. And um, whenever it's the case that you can't, you know, when it's difficult for you to, and I've had times like this, not, not too long ago, just um, maybe like a few weeks ago, it was, you know, it wasn't just enough to pray and ask for forgiveness. I had to talk to someone and let, a few weeks ago because this situation was, it was just not resolved yet in my heart. And I had to talk to someone. I did. And I called one, uh, a few of my sisters in Christ to see who picked up first. And then I spoke to this sister and I was able to resolve that through the, on the phone. And, and, you know, so sometimes it takes that. So please reach out to those that you care about, that trust, that you trust. And that could be something that helps you. I hope and pray that this episode has encouraged your day. I hope that it encourages your faith. And I hope that it encourages your week. And I'll see you next time.